welcome to Crafty Ames Workshop and I've got another video for you and I thought I would take you along on my little journey on kitting up my new diamond painting that I'm starting. If you had seen my last video you will know which painting I'm talking about. Um, I have used several different types of containers to put my drills in and I haven't been a hundred percent satisfied with any of them. I think the uh, let me show you the ones that I've had, the ones that I've used and the ones that I haven't used. And then out of those, I'll tell you which ones I like the most. And then I'm going to show you what I got right now. So let me go get those. Okay, let me show you one that I absolutely will not use at all. And this is this one. This one I got through Wish, and it is just really flimsy and cheap, and I don't trust these little lids to stay on. Um, they're just barely on there, so if any of you were thinking about buying these, I don't recommend it because I don't trust them to stay closed. So that's So this pretty much is useless unless I find something else to use this for I probably will not use it and I'll probably throw it away because I don't think it's it's sturdy enough and it's not going to lock down good enough for me the next one I want to show you is the one I've been using lately this one is pretty good I don't mind this one this is like the tic tac the tic tac items let me see um, little containers, I should say. Um, these are smaller than a Tic Tac container. Uh, they do close really well. I don't have a problem with that. You can take the whole top off if you need to. Um, and it does come, it comes in a flimsy container too, but it's not as bad as this one. But the great thing about these is they do, the containers do shut really, really well. So, I don't, I would recommend this if you want to do that. And I think I got this through Wish as well. So there's that. that. So that's one I probably would use again. Then on my Nightmare Before Christmas, all I did was I used bags, baggies. And that really works well if you've got just little tiny paintings and you don't have a lot of drills. I would be okay with doing that again. That's not a big deal. Um, and I just put it in a little uh, pencil bag like this. Um, so that worked okay. Um, I don't think I would do that for a big, large item like I'm getting ready to do. But I do like it. Um, that's one that is another option. Some of you may use the baggies. Um, so I will put that to the side where I do like it. Now, here's this one. I used these on, um, this was on the um, Peter Pan one, what's it called? Mm -mm -mm. I can't think of it right now. What I, these are good because they do screw on, the lids screw on, which I love. I do love that. The problem with this is it's one whole object, so to get to the next one down, you have to take this one off. It's not a huge deal, but it can get annoying after a while, especially when you just want that container. So this one is an okay one. It didn't have an I didn't have enough containers though, so I did have to use the baggies. So the baggies are a good thing, um, but I do prefer to have the containers. And then the very first one that I did, so I would put that to the to the middle because it's not my cup of tea. I, I do not enjoy using it. Um, this one. 
these are two different paintings. These were the first two I did. This was the Four Seasons tree. This one was, um, I can't think of the name of that one. Anyway, so let me show you these. These are like this one, except these are individuals. So they're tinier. They're not as big as you can see. Um, but they're individual, so, and they screw off. So you have a better chance of not losing beads. Um, the lid, you know, is secure on there. You have several here. I got these at Hobby Lobby, and it worked really well. Um, I think I got another, one of these I got from Hobby Lobby, and one I got from uh, Diamond Art Club, I believe. Um, but you can go to Hobby Lobby and get the same exact thing, and I think they're actually cheaper, especially if you use the 40% off discount. So this would be probably my best option, because I like these the best. So I would say these two so far are my favorite at the moment. The bag would be third. The big ones, but all grouped together, would be the fourth one. And then I absolutely would not use this one. So don't waste your money. Okay, so now let me show you something I'm going to try now. Okay, so now for my snowman and forest friends. This is the diamond painting I'm doing next. I am going to try out this product. Some of you already use this, some of you may not, but I'm going to get it out and we're going to kit it up together and figure out if this is something I will continue to use. So obviously I got this from Amazon and I've heard a lot about this. This is the Bead Storage Solutions by Elizabeth Ward and company. Um, I got this barely I think it was on sale actually for like $27 can't remember I know one of them if it's all these little ones all the way through it's like a whole lot more expensive like almost $50 I think so I found this one though and I thought you know what I'm going to do that because I probably have a bunch of these in one color and I could use the big I could use the big ones so the great thing about this I noticed is you can buy more of these separately these little containers so what I'm seeing so far is we've got they're in a tray we've got a lid to go on top that has the nice locks on the side and that stays on really secure. They've got you some stickers to put on each of these. I'm not sure there's enough though. I may, I'll probably end up using my own anyways. And then you have the small ones, the medium size, the very small, the small, the medium, and the large. You've got three larges. Um, so let's see, how do these work? Okay, so that's nice. And that feels like it would stay on there securely. So that's really nice, actually. Let's see. They all have that little bendy thing right there. So you can just bend it back, pour it into your your um, tray and go. So I think I like these. I'm uncertain about what, uh, maybe that's just to help take it out. Okay. Um, yeah, I really like that. It feels like it would be very secure and not come, ap come apart and make everything fall out. So I like that. I'm wondering if you could do this. Ooh, actually go this way. And then order some more and just put them in here. 
Ooh, that's an idea. Has anybody done that? Let's see. Let's play around for a minute. So you could put more next to it. Like that. If you needed more storage. Um, it's hitting that part right here, though. That's kind of separating each row. So I don't know. Maybe you wouldn't want to do that. Anyways, okay. I like it. This may be a keeper. I might be using these more. What I need to do is find a way to store all of my the my drills that I'm not using and start using the containers I already have instead of buying more containers because I don't really need to buy more containers. I'm good on the containers now. So let me grab my diamond painting and we will get this party started. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut these or separate these so I can see which ones need to go in the big containers and which ones need to go in the smaller. And you don't have to use scissors, but they do come apart by themselves. But I just prefer to use the scissors. It's safer. Okay, now I'm just going to put these in order with numbers. Match them up. See how many I have of each color and go from there. Okay, so what I've got is I've got them all in order. I've got my um, coding sheet here, my color list. Um, and so I, I'm getting an idea of which ones are going to need the bigger bottle or bigger container compared to those who may need only the small container. Um, or I may end up having too, way too many and end up having to use some baggies. Okay, so what I usually do is I bought a bunch of these little tiny tab stickers or tags. I use a ballpoint pen and I don't use the gel pens because the gel pens smear. And with this type of uh, paper sticker, for some reason, these don't rub off. Uh, but with the gel pens they do. So what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to put write all the numbers down on these on these stickers and then I'll put them on the tray as I open up the bags to put them into the containers. Um, I also tried to use a Micron and it will work but you got to let it dry for a second and I'm not that patient right now. I want to get this done. So Let's go ahead and get started. So the first one is 125. That is just one package and it looks like so I'm going to put this in the in the small, not the extra small, but the small one. Cuz that's got quite a few in there. So, let's do it. Let me put my sticker on. I'm going to put since it's facing this way in the box, I'm just going to stick the sticker right there. Okay, and then I'm going to take my scissor, cut off just the tiny corner, not this side because there's too much plastic there, this side where there's hardly no plastic, it's just easier, and I'm just going to pour it in. I'm going to start, so you, you don't have to put these, keep it like this, you can move these around however you want. So I'm going to start with the 125 right there. The next one is going to be 155, and since that one is small, we're going to use a smaller container. Now I notice some some people are doing the just the number one, number two, number three. I like to do these because later on, if I ever come back to it, I'll know exactly which one it is. Um, I'll know what drill number it is if I need to use it on a different drill painting. Diamond painting, I mean. Okay, 
look at that. That is my only three tens. <laughs> I'm so grateful. You just don't even know. Some of these diamond paintings have a ton of black. And that's black. And that's, I seen one that's just nothing but black. So I would, I think I would go nutty. Okay, now here's three packets. I think I'm going to use the big one. So this is number 646. Look at that. That whole thing is full. I love it. So that's three packets full in one of those. So that's awesome. So I only have two more big ones. If it's not, we'll have to use two of these or use one of these with one baggie, which I have, that's what I did with um, The World Was Ours. That's the name of it. The Peter Pan one is called The World Was Ours, and I have a video on that too if you want to take a look. Oh, two might fit in here. Ooh, now you guys know when you're doing your beads. Oh, it's just, oh! It is at the top. <laughs> Look at that. So two will fit in that. Three will fit in that. And plus a teeny tiny bit more for both of those. Nice. finished product. My battery went out so you got to miss out on some of it but it's just the very end. Um, but 